Well, that's interesting. I unlocked a jumpsuit? That's... The white jumpsuit? The evil Knievel jumpsuit? They waited till now? Alright, yes, <clears throat> I guess we should go check that out. Hello again, gang. It is, uh, believe it or not, the Black Knight. If it doesn't quite sound like me, that's because I've had the incredibly good timing of catching a cold right before Thanksgiving. The so, box. hooray. Um, comment in the description below if you think this is somehow an improvement with my voice. But it's me. You can you, you can trust me on that. And uh, my commentary today is going to be a little bit different. I, I'm going down here. I'm going to get myself into my vigilante, which I still can't paint yet because no MOC. So I still need another few million dollars just to uh, just to paint this thing. But I'm happy I got it for 3.7 million dollars. It's a fun car. I mean, I, that's something I want to stress right now. Oh, Lester. But, I, I had a thought on this, is that by buying this car, am I part of the economy problem in GTA? And by that I mean... Hello there. Stop it. We keep buying these things for like three and four million dollars, and that makes Rockstar think it's okay. If we keep buying this stuff, and I mean, how are you not gonna look? Look at this thing. How are you not buying this? I don't care what it costs. I mean, that that's part of the problem. I mean, they are giving us good stuff, but by continually buying stuff that's ridiculous, welcome to San Andreas's most exciting store. We're kind of encouraging them to make stuff that's ridiculous, and now we're always broke. Let's see, where we is have more in the, back. the no. Come on. Racing suits? Stuntman suits. The white stuntman suit. There you are. No, we need the white Jock Cranley because that's free. Go with the free one. <coughs> Hitting the wrong button here. Now I get out. Escape. Escape. There you go. So here I am. It's go time all over again. And so I tried to think, obviously I'm going to be buying things like this when I really want them. That's what you should be doing. Uh, I'm not going to get every single thing in the game because I'm not, you know, independently wealthy. And I mean that in real money terms. And it's going to take a long, long time. I'm in the Batmobile. Why don't you, it's the Batmobile. Don't you think you should, oh, he's tripping on himself. Come on. You nearly killed me. Definitely not a good idea to use the rocket through here. That would be bad. Shit. But there is one thing I think we can do, is that in the meantime, we try to encourage them to make cheaper things by buying cheaper things, which is what really kind of happens in a real economy. You know, we don't, you know, I'm not out there in real life buying a Rolex watch because I can't get a Rolex watch, so I buy watches that I can afford. Oh, uh, it's been too long since we've done a rocket here. Boom! Excuse me, I got places to go in people. I came back and hit me again, just to make a point. All right, I just, I just cut in front of him to make sure he hit me. Whee! So what I've done, maybe we could do the time warp again. Or should you want to see me launch this puppy? Yeah, one too many streets up for me to truly launch it. On the ramp I was planning on using. Woo! And by the way, there is a, there is a severe downside to this car is that it, uh, I don't have it armored up because I don't have an MOC yet. Here we go. And if you, if you blow it up, it's 20 grand, and that's just, a, yes, Lester, no, Lester. All right, let's just get to the garage. Hey, it's, there's a part. Anything worth grabbing? Interestingly enough, the topic of conversation is at hand. The bullet. Yes, this isn't my bullet. And ironically, it's um, it's in the colors that if I had painted it this color, I would have had to have changed this color. It's in the Steelers colors. Can you get in through the back door? No. 
You gotta go around. You can go over. And run, 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 run. Because what I have done, and you'll see shortly here. Come on, get over. Get over. Get in. Walking. Oh, look what I did. How do I hurt my knee? Just crashing around stuff. You know, did I trip and fall? Did I whack it on the dash? As you can see here, I have purchased for myself, because you can only purchase these, you can't steal them. They're just over the threshold. I have purchased for myself a bullet. 150000 which is what most cars should be going for. I mean, really, how many $3 million cars are really in the world today? I mean, there's a handful of them. And that's all that, you know, is is getting purchased in game anymore. People are just killing themselves and buying char cards and getting the really ridiculously expensive stuff. And, you know, frowning on things like the bullet, which is not even, if you're going to do this race, use it for racing, it's not real competitive. But, I mean, it's not competitive at all. I mean, it's just not. But, it looks nice. I put the, uh, the only upgrades I've made to it are the paint job and the, the knockoff wire wheels here so it could look like the ones from the 60s, kind of. But, I mean, it's not a, this is a nice car. I mean, we should be, you know, I mean, I'm sure there are better cars for, um, for 150000 probably. You probably could work all that out. But, look, you can see the motor. Change views. It's, it's not bad to drive. I mean, it's enjoyable. <coughs> Excuse me again. Stupid cold. But I'm thinking we have to start buying and using some of the car and other ones out there. The cars that are a little bit reasonable to drive here, you know? Might as well get put this on a track. Right now you're learning absolutely nothing about this. But it's, um... If we get started, you know, there are certain cars, like the Blade, or, or the or the Hot Knife, stuff that looks cool. Let's see, can I land this jump? Failed. How did that feel? I landed on all four wheels. Just like hit something immediately afterwards and scared somebody. Let's do this. Let's go online. And here we go. Let's see. Let's switch to the bullet. Switch to free mode. Confirmed. And actually, th this track here, Chiliad, is the main reason I bought this car. Because I wanted to do another one of my incredibly popular doink videos where I just drive into the into the uh, bowling pins on the one level of this, uh, the one part of this race. And by say immensely popular, I mean my, my son loves them. So I just make them for him. And then, because they get watched over and over again, it helps. You know, it helps the overall count. But this is, you know, I would expect this car to be really disaster on any kind of stunt circuit. And, you know, it, the fact that it can complete this, you know, it tells you, hey, why, I, I wonder why they limited the, uh, why they limited the cars that you can select on Chiliad so much. There's only three or four of the new, at the time, the, the cars that kind of came out with the stunt races. All I could think of is it had to be a marketing deal, like they're trying to make you think that uh, this is the only car that will, will survive here. These are the only ones. Now, I'm not coming down here full throttle, because this will happen. And that will happen, and brakes. Uh, see, it's not, not an RE7B by any stretch of the imagination, no. But, we can, if you driven sympathetically, you can at least complete the track. We didn't go off there really likes to slide. I tell you what, if you want a nice drift supercar, this is one to get. It's got a top speed in like the 100 teens, so I mean it's not going to be blazing fast by anyone's expectation, but I mean the RE7B only goes 123. I still don't understand 100% why Rockstar does that. It makes supercars basically no faster than my Taurus. But I mean, it's just a uh, it just is what it is. Technically speaking, the slowest supercar um, is limited to 106, which is what the rev limiter on my 94, my 94, my 96 T-Bird. I had a 94, now I got a 96. Long story to that. But I won't, uh, I won't belabor the uh, the doinks here. We're just gonna go around here. Yeah, that, this would be like doink. That's what I, I do in that video. <coughs> Working on another one. There's one up. Float this puppy just the right way, so it's right. Grab, and, and this isn't bad. I mean, you wouldn't want to be racing this, probably. 
But, like, if it was what you had and you just want to go on the tracks and, 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 and run it, they can do that. I mean, this is, you know, it can, it can handle it, no problem. It's actually, um, it's not unfun to drive. It's a pleasant thing. So what I'm, what I'm saying here is you can get cars like this, which are not horrible, for 155000 And if, if Rockstar starts seeing cars that are reasonable being purchased, you know, and, you know, if we make this like a true economy, we're like, instead of, like, killing ourselves, that way we're off there completely. If they start seeing a volume of more reasonable cars for 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 being uh, purchased, maybe we'll have less 3 million and 5 million. I mean, the last thing you want is start getting $10 million supercars. You know, and right now we keep feeding this monster. So as long as we keep buying shark cards and buying more and more shark cards just to get the things that we want and we're not willing to wait for them and grind through the game on them. And I didn't shark card for the uh, for the Vigilante. I did not do that. That was just and through at 3.30. Not a great time. I mean, you can, you can do this a lot quicker, especially if you don't wreck. But I wonder if that would work. I mean, what do you think? You think it's it's a matter of there'll always be enough people who are trying to, to buy a bumbushka immediately that there, there's going to be just huge shark card flow. I mean, I, I don't have an overall problem with, you know, making money off the game. But, boy, when you're setting it up so that you're coercing people, rather than being kind of an option, you're wringing the money out of the, the game. I wonder if we'll do Plummet too. Then that's something that's kind of a problem, you know. It's it's something that it's gonna make eventually the game's gonna get to be unplayable, or they're gonna have oh here is a twenty million dollar supercar, fastest car in the game. It'll cost you five hundred dollars, and uh, if you want to buy it, five hundred in real money. I mean, the bullet is the kind of thing where this is what the original, the small shark cards were made for. You know, you want. Just to get yourself a supercar and you want to pay five bucks, that was a reasonable thing. There's no there's no chance with any of the new material coming out. You, and I think we have to revisit some of this older material. Like the bullet. I mean, look at it here. It, it, it looks cool. you got to admit, it looks cool. I wish they'd given the original Ford GT, which this is based on, a little bit more love. I mean, it's got almost no modifications. Can't put a spoiler on it. Um... And, and abysmal performance. It really, the original bullet wasn't that slow. It had 550 horsepower and it was tiny. Where, where is it going? I mean, you know, where are they going with this? It's, here we are, we're rolling. And it just gets up over the hill. It's doing plummet too. I'm on the brakes there, but not great handling. Feels like it wants to kick around, but it's actually a little bit more fun to drive because of that. It's not just a matter of getting from point A to point B. It's trying to get the car around the track and without without sliding out of control. I have to put a little more thought to it. It's kind of fun. We're moving now. We're we're moving pretty quickly. Zoom. Still makes the jump. Gabang. We're not having any trouble here. So I don't know, it'd be, it'd be fun to see more of these in races. Imagine if we had like just bullet races. Like that should be a thing. That'd be a true test of stamina and skill. Stuff like that. Why don't we see stuff like the hot knife? Which is just, you know, that that 30s retro rod kind of thing. That that's something. That's my next my next purchase. I think is going to be a hot knife. I've won one for a long time. I have an entire garage of the mediocre. And up this ramp. This isn't bad at all to drive. Of course, I'm doing it alone. You can get eviscerated in a real race, probably. Almost certainly. Well, that happens when I'm in a good car. So I mean, you know. Usually what happens is you start a real race and 
six people show up. Five of them try to hit you at the start. Come on. Get around that turn. But I, mean, I, I like this car. Is it okay to like this car? I think you comment in the description if it's okay to like this car for what it is. And because it's enjoyable to drive. I'll tell you what, I mean, if you were if you were racing a G-Fred, then you'd be thrilled to find one up front. I mean, this would be something that, you know, all right, it's not an 9F, but... And there'll be a link in the description to Brophy's uh, bits if you need to know what a G-Fred is. Go, just wheel this puppy around. Yeah, it's not, it's really behaving well. I'm not having to do an over extensive amount of fighting this thing to get to go around the track. I mean, you know, I think it's, it's like I said, speed wise, it's not viable. I don't think. I may do that. One race, I may just do that. Put it in a race and look for that in a future video. Boom. And we're through here. And again, another 330 or so. So there's my pitch for the bullet, ladies and gentlemen. Buying some reasonable stuff. Let's move this economy. The reason people mostly buy Fords as opposed to Ferraris is because they can. You know, buy what you can. And maybe we could send a message. I don't mean that you don't save up your money for the big stuff. You have to do that in real life, too. But maybe, maybe we could send some kind of message that this, these old, this older material, this older stuff... Is still viable and at those price points. If you get some stuff at those price points, I think it would be awesome. And on that, that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing.